What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the NorCal Sports Report. And happy opening day to everybody who celebrates Giants baseball. The games that count, at the very least, are is back. Today they take on the Padres, who technically it's not the Padres opening day. It's their first game in the continental United States. Because they did play two games against the Dodgers in Seoul, South Korea. They split those games, so technically this is their third game of the season. They're a 1-1. One one. Giants, this is their first game of the year. It's going to be Logan Webb versus Hugh Darvish for this opening day pitching matchup. And it's the start of what's going to be a great year, hopefully. For the Giants, a lot of action this offseason. Signed the reigning Cy Young and former Padre Blake Snell. Join the rotation. Jorge Soler, Young Hu Lee, and many more. So, this game should be in start up soon. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go over some news and lineup. So, first for the Giants, there were some surprises, really, with their opening 26-man roster. First of all, Mike Yastrzemski is initially on it, but tomorrow, Yastrzemski is going to go on to the paternity list. So, he's probably going to be put there. And then probably tomorrow, I'd say Luis Matos, who is not included on the opening day roster, will be called up for tomorrow's game against San Diego. And really, the surprise is no Matos Luciano. And, of course, Pablo Sandoval released... Marco Luciano didn't make it. Nick Ahmed got the starting shortstop nod over. Luciano, Bob Melvin said it was because Luciano needs work defensively. So Nick Ahmed will start the season as a Giants opening day shortstop. And the surprise is to make it. Landon Roop made the opening day roster. He had some nasty stuff in the spring training, especially with that breaking ball. Joey Bart. So Giants are carrying three catchers to start this season. Joey Bart made the opening day roster. And of course, like I said, Nick Gaiman, Logan Webb's on the bump. He came in second place in the Cy Young voting last year to his now teammate, Blake Snell, who won, who's also a former Padre. Padres will have Hugh Darvish, who's trying to look for a bounce back year at his worst ERA ever of his career. He had an ERA of 4.56 last year, highest of his career. Let's get into the lineup. First for the Giants, Jung Hu Lee, the grandson of the wind from Korea, is leading off in center field for the Giants. Jorge Soler, the DH. He is batting second, so another new giant. Lamont Wade Jr. at first base, batting third. Matt Chapman, another big offseason signing, batting cleanup at third base. Mike Oshemsky, right fielder, batting fifth. Tyro Estrada, second base, and batting sixth. Michael Conforto, left fielder, batting seventh. Patrick Bailey, the opening day catcher, batting eighth. And Nick Ahmed, the shortstop, batting ninth. Giants lineup goes left, right, left, right, left, right, left, switch, right. So... It's a pretty good variety issued by Bob Melvin, who's going to be managing his first game as Giants manager. Also a former Padre. He managed the Padres last year. Padres lineup. Xander Bogarts leading off at second base. Fernando Tatis Jr. in right field batting second. Jake Cronin with the first base and batting third. Manny Machado, DH, batting cleanup. He's DH in the start of the year. He hurt something. I forget what it was. But he is not going to be playing third base until later on the season. Hot Song Kim. Bang six at shortstop. Jerkson Profar batting seventh in left field. Big Brown Jerkson Profar batting sixth. Luis Campusano, the catcher, batting seventh. Tyler Wade, the former Yankee, eighth, batting eighth at third base. And the rookie Jackson Merrill in center field, batting ninth. So hold on here. So sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, game should be in startup soon. Chart all Daniel Barry. Early chatter. What's going on, Daniel Barry and SG Sports Talk? Opening day. So, also another note. Michael Conforto in the starting, line, in the starting lineup tonight for the Giants. He's the 18th different opening day left fielder in a row for the Giants. So, Michael Conforto. Probably going to extend next year, too, because I don't think Conforto's going to be on his team next year. But he's the 18th different consecutive opening day left fielder in a row the Giants. So that's a little bit of an interesting stat. My day's going good, SG. How's yours, go How's yours going? He's going beautifully. Spring break starts today. Opening day is today. It's a beautiful day for me. Incredible day. Giants only starting with seven pitchers. Their pitchers will start seven bullpen arms. Ted Rogers, Eric Miller, Camino Duvall, Tyler Rogers, Ryan Walker, Luke Jackson, like I said earlier. Landon Roop is on the opening day roster. Ponyto, what's going on? Ponyto is so, so, still a schooling lunch right now. Yeah, I don't know why they have opening day at like 1 o'clock Pacific time on Thursdays. I don't know that, but not going to watch the MLB. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy your lunch, Ponyto. 
Shocked you weren't on spring break yet. So, here we go. Game time weather in Petco Park in San Diego. It's partly cloudy, 64 degrees, 9 mile per hour winds to the northwest. 62% humidity and it's partly cloudy. Let's take a look at the wind. Very mild breeze. It's sort of swirling around the ballpark. A little breeze here up top. You see the red mark sets around 10 miles Okay, good. Game audio sounds good. First Giants regular season game of the year, so could be issues. Hopefully not. I'm super excited for this. First pitch to be in a minute. So Giants lineup once again, go over quickly again. Jung Hu Lee leading off. Jorge Soler batting second. Lamont Wade Jr. batting third. Matt Chapman batting cleanup. Mike Yashemsky batting fifth. Tyro Estrada batting sixth. Michael Conforto batting seventh. Patrick Bailey batting eighth. And Nick Ahmed batting ninth. We had like eight people in here early. I only have two. So I don't know what that's about. But... Padres opening day starter, like I said, you Darvish, he had a, he had a career worst year, he lost year at 4.56, he had 24 starts last year, he went 8-10 to 136 in the third innings, gave 134 hits, 43 walks, and 141 Ks for you Darvish. Giants, a lot of guys have good numbers against Darvish, especially Mike Shremsky. Shremsky against Darvish in his career is 8 for 21 with 3 home runs and 8 RBIs, so... That's ownage. Darvish's pitch arsenal, a sinker, a sweeper, a slider, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, a knuckle curve, a curve normally, and a changeup. So we'll literally throw the kitchen sink at you. That is nine pitches that Darvish has thrown in the last year. He's mostly a sinker, sweeper, slider, fastball guy. But he'll mix in everything. Like, literally, any pitch you can really think of, Darvish probably throws. So. Just about on the way here, jung Hu Lee will lead off. In his first major league at, at, at bat. Padres defense from left to right in the outfield. Jerickson Profar in left field. Jackson Merrill and Fernando Tatis. Third to first in the infield. Tyler Wade, Hassan Kim, Sandra Bogarts, and Jay Cronworth. And the catcher will be Luis Campusano, Hassan Kim, and Fernando Tatis Jr. Are each gold glovers. Padres in their home pinstripe uniforms. Giants in their road San Francisco gray uniforms. And we are underway. Jung Hu Lee will be in the batter's box. Leading off. To begin the 2024 season for the Giants. You're going to miss the whole Giants season. Oh, wow. The former KBO star, Jung Hu Lee, will lead off. Darvish throws. And we are on the way. Darvish throws. And Jung Hu Lee grounds this one. Foul. First base side. And the count's still on one. That's the first pitch of the season. The first pitch Jung Hu Lee has seen in Major League game. Lee. A KBO star, like I said. 0-1 pitch to Jung Hu Lee. Darvish kicks and deals. Nice curve in there. 0-2. Jorge Soler, the big power hitter. He's DHing today. He's going to probably be the DH for most of the season. Is on deck. 0-2 pitch to Lee. Darvish throws. And Jung Hu Lee's LB career starts off with a three-pitch strikeout. As he takes strike three at the knees. One down. Good start for Darvish. Then I'll bring up Jorge Soler. Over three with a strike on his career against Darvish. Former Marlin, former Brave, former Royal, former Cub. He's been a ton. He was an All Star last year. Hit 36 home runs in Miami. Much needed power is what he gives to the Giants, which isn't needed because he didn't have any power last year. They haven't had any power for a long time. First pitch, Soler sees some Darvish is down low. Well, I know. You work from April to August, and my work's only be free in September. Oh, wow. It's a Giants game. It's unfortunate. One of Pitches Solaire is foul straight back on a slider. 101. So Lee's, I mean, his next at bat can't be much worse. I mean, first at bat in Major's a three pitch strikeout. Can't really be much worse than that your next time up. At least that's a positive. 1-1 one, one pitch to Soler. And Soler swings and misses on a sinker right down the middle, 1-2. and two. On deck is Lamont Wade Jr. He also has some good numbers on Darvish in his career. As expected, looks like a sell here in San Diego for opening day. One, 1-2 pitch to Soler. Darvish ready. 
Six on the pitch clock, he kicks, and he deals, and that's a fastball low. Two and two good takes there by Soler. So the next Giants stream will be most likely tomorrow. I mean, if we still want, if we only have one person watching the whole time, we're not going to do the Giants game tomorrow. But the plan is to do the Giants game tomorrow as well. 2-2 two, two pitches to Lair. Darvish is eighth of the inning. A curve. Got him swinging. Two batters, two Ks. And here comes Lamont Wade Jr. No longer leading off the Giants team in the three hole today at first base. Like I said, good numbers against Darvish in his career. Four for 12 with a home run, two RBIs. This is Lamont Wade Jr. against Darvish. Aiden Fraser, been too long, got to hit a Giants game, yeah. I've been, I was at my first Giants game last year in San Francisco. That ballpark is beautiful. Wade grounds the first pitch, he sees the second. Sander Bogarts gets him. And so one, two, three, first inning for the Giants. Logan Wright will take the bump. Bogarts, Tatis, Cronenworth coming up for the Padres. So very good start for you, Darvish. 4-3 grounded on one pitch for Lamont. Gonna go over once again. Padres lineup: Xander Bogarts leading off, but Anthony Tatis bang second. Jake Cronenworth bang third. Manny Machado bang cleanup. Hassan Kim batting fifth. Jerks and Profar sixth. Luis Campusano seventh. Tyler Wade eighth, and the rookie Jackson Merrill batting ninth. So for the Padres, Logan Webb will be on. Logan Webb will be on the bump. The Giants. Aiden says, what's my NBA schedule looking like this week? Well, tomorrow the plan is to also stream the Giants game and then stream the Kings on Sunday. That's the original plan. But, I mean, if this doesn't do well, like if we have, like, max, like, five people in here, we're going to do the Kings game tomorrow inside of the Giants. But right now the schedule for this week is Giants as well tomorrow. Uh, nothing Saturday. And it'll be like a Kings Jazz Sunday. That's the plan originally right now. But it could change depending on how today's stream goes. It definitely could change. Her back. So Padres lineup goes right, right, left, right, right, switch, right, left, left against righty. Logan Webb, who last year, like I said, second to Cy Young voting up through 216 innings, 201 hits, 83 runs, 78 earned, 31 walks, 194 Ks. The record isn't good because he never got any run support. His record last year was 11 13, but he did have an ERA of 3.25. Third consecutive year, Logan Webb is the opening day star for the Giants. First pitch he throws the season is under Bogarts is a strike at the knees 0 1. Webb did not have a great spring. Bogarts this season against the Dodgers in Korea is 4 for 9 with 3 RBIs. 0 1 pitch to Bogarts is another strike at the knees. Another sinker. So. Logan Webb, when he's on, as Giants fans know, will get a ton of ground balls. 0-2, and that one's a little bit too low on the changeup, 1-2 and two to Bogarts. Home point umpire ties Vic Carapazza, first base umpire Mark Ripperger, second base umpire Adam Hamari, third base umpire Edwin Moscoso. 1-2 pitch with Webb is in the changeup, a changeup in the dirt, 2-2. Two and two. The leadoff man Bogarts with Fernando Tatis Jr. And now right fielder on deck. Very good defensive left fielder as well. Bogarts in his career against Webb is two for two for six. Two two Bogarts gets jammed and grabs a foul. First base side. Padres first base coach David Macias has a nice pickup. Tosses it into the seats. Bogarts no longer the shortstop for the Padres. That is now Hassan Kim's job. Bogarts now the second baseman for San Diego. And he strikes out. Swing on the slaughter. Good start to the season for Logan Webb. <laughs> Darwin Tatis. 
So Logan Webb has a changeup, a sinker, a slider, and a very rare four-seam fastball. He still has got to work on because that four-seamer gets lit up whenever he throws it, it seems. Here's Tatis, first pitch he sees is a changeup, check swing, and he went around according to the first base umpire, Mark Ripperger. 0-1-1. To Fernando. This season, 3 for 8, Tatis. That's at the knees, 0-2. He got a generous call to the web, but... He got it. That's all that matters. 0-2. Mind you guys, hit that like button if you haven't already. Got four people in here. We can get to like eight likes. Definitely get to eight likes. 0-2 pitch to Tatis. That one's way too low in the dirt. 1-2 and two on the changeup. Giants defense tonight from left to right in the outfield will be Michael Conforto, John Koo Lee, and Mike Yastrzemski. Third to first in the infield, Matt Chapman, the Gold Glover. Nick Ahmed, Tyro Estrada, Lamont Wood Jr. And the catcher will be Patrick Bailey. Tatis Castrian grounds this one to second. Estrada comes in, takes his time, throws to first. Two down. Two up, two down for Webb. So defense was not good last year. Probably going to be better this year, I hope. Two gold glovers in the defense today, Chapman and Ahmed. First pitch to Cronenworth is up and away, but called the strike. Another generous call by Carapaza, 0-1. Well, the A's might move there, like, next year, because it's the last year the A's have in the Coliseum, so they may get an LB team in Sacramento, Wibbercat Stadium. 0-2 to Cronenworth, another slider on the outside corner. Just don't try and say that name below 50 degrees. Yeah, a lot of good players this opening day on the River Cats. Marco Luciano, Helio Ramos is up is down there now. Forcing fastball up and away one and two. The Cronenworth. The River Cats may host the LB team next year. The A's. One two is in the dirt. Two and two. Oh, you like your professional, like major? Is that what you mean? Or talking about like the A's? Two two. Cronenworth tapped it foul off himself. Still two and two. Oh, I don't think I don't think that's happened. Unless I, I don't really pay attention to the Rivercats that much, but I didn't hear anything about that, Aiden. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Never heard anything about it though. The Trip Y affiliate for the Giants. 2 2 to Cronenworth, and he grounds it foul. Still 2 and 2. To the Crone Zone, as they call him, in San Diego. You hit him on the foot there. This will be Webb's 17th pitch of the inning. 2 2. And that was way inside. 3 and 2. The Cronenworth on deck is my second least favorite player in baseball. Actually, probably third now. Manny Machado. 3-2. Got him on the inside corner. Great pitch by Webb to silence the crowd. He strikes out two. And his first inning of the season is a 1-2-3. Chapman, Yaz, Estrada. Coming up for the Giants in the top half of the second. I'll be right back.
play that video because I have to quiet that a little bit. That was way too loud. So, sorry that actually happened. I just have to quiet that a bit. <laughs> because I was watching it back. That was a little bit too loud for my liking. The too loud. So here we go. Second inning of the season now for the Giants. They'll have Matt Chapman leading off in his first at bat. First pitch to Chapman is in the dirt. Ball one. Mike Ostremski on deck. He has a very big day. Tomorrow, going on paternity leave. The 1-0. Darvish kicks and deals, and Chapman takes a strike at the knees. Nice breaking ball, 1-1. One one. <laughs> Logan up getting a perfect game would be cinematic, Chardaw. I would love that, too. 1-1. One one. Chapman fouls his strike back. 1-2. Tyra shot in the hole after Yaz. Opening day. This will be Darvish's 13th pitch of opening day. One two pitch to Chapman. Darvish has already struck out two. He throws and a little bit low on the sweeper. Two and two to Chapman. Yeah, no one has gotten a hit yet. No one has gotten a hit yet. No one's even had a base runner yet. SG. 2 2 pitch to Chapman is a sweeper. A little bit too low again. Count is full to Chapman. So we'll see what Darvish goes to here. He has like a million pitches to choose from. So we'll see what he picks. 3 2. Darvish throws. Chapman grounds one foul. Third base side. He stays a lot good at bat here for Chapman. Darvish has a very unusual motion in that he lifts his front leg up, his left leg, and he's got a little bit of a pause there, so he gathers on his back side. So timing Darvish ready. Getting the sign from the young catcher Luis Campusano. 3 2 pitch to Chapman. The cleanup man for the Giants, and that one is on the outside corner. Strike three. The third strikeout already. For you, Darvish. Second strikeout looking. Here's Mike Gostremski, who has ownage on you, Darvish. 8 for 21, 3 home runs, and 8 RBIs against you, Darvish, in his career. As Krupko would say, that is ownage. Definition of ownage there. First pitch he sees from Darvish here in 2024 is a fastball right down the middle. 0-1. Yeah, as last season, about 233 with 15 home runs and 43 RBI. As well as injured a lot last year, especially with that hamstring. 0-1. Curve, Yaz. High drive down the right field line and well foul. 0-2. This is Yaz's only game probably playing this series because, like I said, he's going on paternity leave tomorrow. So if I, were to, if I had to guess, I'd probably say Luis Matos will take his place on the roster tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's what that's he needs it to happen if he wants to get a perfect game. 0-2. Oh, perfect pitch again. Strike three. At the top of the zone. You know, this is reminding me of opening day last year when the Giants faced Garrett Cole and they struck out like a million times. I mean, reminding me of last year. I'm blanking on draw backwards. <laughs> there we go. Strike number four for Darvish. Here comes Tyra Stride looking to... At least put the ball in play. Maybe. Maybe put the ball in play, Tyro. Darvish kicks and deals. First pitch to Tyro is on the outside corner, 0 1. First pitch was a minute late, if you're still curious about that. It was at 4 11. Supposed to be 4 10. Darvish, 2 for 4 in his career against Darvish's strikeout. 0 1 is a curve outside, 1 1. To Estrada, who had probably the Giants' best hitter last year, honestly. Tyra. Had a remarkable year. Almost almost was an all-star. 
One one pitch to Tyrell. Yeah, that was a hanger. I thought it was a home run too by Yaz. Estrada grounds this one to third. Tyler Wade will throw across the diamonds and get him. Six up, six down for you, Darvish. Padres coming up. My name Machado. Hassan Kim, Jerks, and Profar will come up against Logan Webb. Just need a lot of lives changed. Giants not scoring at all for Webb. What's new? Aren't even putting the ball in play for Webb. Not even putting the ball in play for him. My dog's being a weird, so I have to take care of him. What jersey am I rocking? Well, I'm rocking a Crawford jersey, Crawford City Connect, but not that Crawford's not on the team anymore. It's kind of feels different, but Crawford City Connect is what I'm rocking right now, SG. Crawford City Connect. Second inning coming up. Well, they just showed the ball properly. Then she and this one right back to commercial break, I guess. Oh, so we gotta change this light goal. My God, we got no one watching. We got no one in here. A whopping nobody. If you are watching, though, if you're one of the five loyal viewers, hit that like button. Also, feel free to chat as well. It's more for me to do in commercial breaks like this. So like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're a Giants fan, you're in the right place. Because we'll be live for Giants baseball all year long. That's new. They didn't have that last year. Presented by PNC Bank. That's very new. So Manny Machado is going to lead off for the Padres here in the bottom of the second against Logan Webb, who had a 1 2 3 first inning, striking out two, and forcing a ground out. First pitch, Webb throws to Machado. I think it was outside. Well, I don't know. Machado with. Good numbers against Webb in his career. 7 for 22 against Webb. A home run, 3 RBIs. So it was a strike the first pitch. 0-1 pitch. Nice play by Yaz there. I thought that was going to be a bloop. Here's Ha Song Kim, who in his first few games of the season was home. He was in Korea where he played the Dodgers. Padres split that series against LA about a couple weeks ago. So Ha Song Kim... Back in San Diego, but he was home, so that must have been nice for Hassan Kim. Padres fans always chant his name, the Hassan Kim chant. First pitch to Kim is a changeup right down the middle, taken 0 and 1. Kim last season has made 260. He's 0 for 7 this season, but he does have an RBI. 0 1 pitch to Kim is a sinker a bit outside. 1 1. Two webs, 24th pitch, 1-1, one, one. slider outside, 2-1 to Kim. So Webb's working quick here. On deck is a switch hitting, jerks, and profile. 2-1, and Kim hits this one in the air to right field. Yaz towards the line. Yaz playing with the sun is going to make the catch in foul territory. 2 down. Here comes Profar. Profar with good numbers against Webb also. 5 for 20, 3 RBIs, 3 walks, and 3 Ks. Switch hitting left fielder today for the Padres on opening day. Last year he was with the Padres, but he started off with the Colorado Rockies. And he got traded back to San Diego. Profar on the first pitch. He sees Skies this one in the air, right field. Yaz coming in, long run. It's going to drop. Foul. There were three Giants going after that ball. Wade, Estrada, Yaz. And it just... Luckily it fell on... Fell in foul territory. <laughs> Luckily. On deck is Luis Campusano. Yeah. I mean, it's like 
The Giants have a lot of San Diego the first couple weeks of the season. 0-1 pitch pro far is swung on a miss, 0-2. Well, like I said, Giants have a lot of Padres this first two weeks of the season. After these first two weeks, Giants also have their home opener against San Diego. After these two series, they don't see the Padres again until September. So, schedule. A lot of Padres early, not a lot of Padres middle, a lot of Padres late. 0-2 pitch to Profar is up and away 1-2. and two. Shard also says, I'm a big fan of carnitas. When I went to Dallas, Stars or San Jose Sharks, I had something called carnitas fries with queso sauce, chipotle mayo, guac, and pico de gallo. That's in the dirt, 2-2. Two two. That sounds pretty good, actually. Well, it's a spectacular day for baseball, it really is. Especially the queso sauce. Pretty excited about their team. Doesn't actually sound that bad. I never heard of Carnitas. Profire on the 2-2 pitch, Grass is one to second. Tyro Estrada, got him. In another 1-2-3 inning for Logan Webb, 6 up, 6 down for both teams. The Padres and the Giants, Conforto, Bailey, Ahmed. Coming up 7-8-9 to begin the third. Well, this game's flying by. Yeah, and this game reminds me a ton of opening day last year. The Giants like struck at a million times. That's what this reminds me of. What the hell was that? What was that? It's like so, like, I don't know, I have this terrible angle. This computer. <laughs> Got a terrible angle. Let me look up carnitas right now. What are carnitas? Oh. Those look quite appetizing. Yeah, it looks like the Mexican's version of pulled pork. That does look quite appetizing, SG. I would actually eat that right now if someone wants to serve it to me. I would eat that. Looks really good. You can put on a wrap too. Ooh. That's tasty. It's really good. All right, we're back. Both teams looking for some offense. Hasn't been any of it today. Conforto will try to solve you Darvish to begin the third inning. Against you Darvish, Conforto's four for 16 with a solo home run, a walk, and six strikeouts. This will be Darvish's 23rd pitch, 0-1 to Con first pitch to Conforto is down low, 1-0. So not only has Darvish like not let the Giants put the ball in play, striking out four of the first six, Giants haven't made Darvish work whatsoever to begin this game. 1-0, Conforto rips this one, fair ball down the right field line, that's the first hit of the season for the Giants. Michael Conforto will slide in the second base with the leadoff double. Good at bat there for Conforto. Finally a base runner. Conforto after a bad year last year, looking to have a better year this year. That's a good start to a one for one. A little thousand batting average for Conforto. Great piece of hitting there, you barreled it right down the line. And that'll bring up the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. Son Darvish will be going from the going from the stretch here for the first time. First pitch to Bailey is a sweeper down in. Ball one. So first time this year with a runner in scoring position for the Giants. So see if they can cash in. The one out pitch to Bailey. Twenty six from Darvish. He throws another breaking ball in the dirt. Two now. Gotta take the hits. The longer it Gotta take the hits. To your stretch, the longer it takes for you to get comfortable in the stretch. Bailey, last year mostly known for his defense, but he bad like I think 230 last year. But again, if he can bat like 230 this year with the same defense, that's I'd take that definitely. 
from Bailey in his second year. That's right down the middle. Takes a two and one. On deck is a 9 0 hitter veteran, Nick Ahmed. No, no perfect game for you, Darvish. Nope. No perfect game for Darvish tonight. Today. Shut up. 2 1. Bailey hits a fly ball to left center field. Jackson Merrill, the rookie, towards left. We'll square up and make the catch. Conforto will stay at second. Unproductive out. One away. I'll bring up Nick Ahmed, the veteran shortstop. It was the opening day shortstop this year over who it was thought out to be, but after having a poor spring, Luciano did not get the nod. So Ahmed over Luciano to begin the year at shortstop. There's Bob Melvin, first season Giants manager. He played for the Giants from 86 to 88, and he's back in San Diego after being there last year's 21st year in general as an MLB manager. First pitch to Ahmed is a fastball in the outside corner. 0 oh, 1. <laughs> guess they booed Melvin. <laughs> well, I'd say, I, I'd guess they would boo Melvin. You know, we have the best year last year. 0 oh, 1 pitch to Ahmed. And Ahmed, the other way, foul. 0 oh, 2. There's Matt Williams, Giants with the new coaching staff. Well, Mark Hallberg is still on it. Mark Hallberg is now the third base coach, now the first base coach. Matt Williams is the new first base coach. No more Antoine Richardson for the Giants. 0-2 pitch to Ahmed. And Ahmed, I don't know what he's swinging at, but luckily he got a piece. Fouls it away. Still 0-2. If it gets views, I'll do it. I mean, if it's going to get the same amount of views as this, probably not. Last season with Arizona, Ahmed bet at 212. He's never been really known for his offense for his entire long career. He's been more of a defensive guy. But he bet at 212 last year. 0 2. Ahmed. Fair ball down the left field line. Conforto around third is going to score. First run of the season. Nick Ahmed with an RBI double. It's 1 0 Giants. Welcome to the Giants, Nick Ahmed. How about that? One nothing. That was a mistake. That was a breaking ball up, and Ahmed made him pay. Good piece of hitting. Now we're at the top of the order again. Jung Hu Lee. Nick Ahmed, driving the first run of the season. I was I honestly did not think that was going to be on my bingo card. <laughs> Nick Ahmed with the first RBI of the year. First pitch of Jung Hoo Lee is outside 1 0. Maybe the Giants hitting lab will turn Ahmed back into a dangerous hitter. Maybe. 1 0 pitch to Jung Hoo Lee. Struck on three pitches his first major league at bat. Takes low 2 0, so his second at bat is already better than his first in the major leagues. If it gets 500 likes, I'll do more than a postgame show, yeah. I'll definitely do a post sure gets 500 likes. <laughs> definitely. 2 a pitch to Young Hu Lee. 35th from Darvish. 3 0. Miss with a slider. So Darvish, whenever, ever since he's been working out of the stretch, has struggled since then. I don't know what that was. That was a voice crack like in a half. The 3 0 to Lee. With Ahmed at second, Lee takes a strike. Then you take the bat off his shoulders. Three and one. I'll send you. Well, I'm not using StreamYard right now, so there's not really a link. But I'll let you join in if it gets 500 likes. Definitely. Three one. Curve outside corner. Three and two. To Lee. Let's see if Ahmed goes here. Let's see. Three two. To Lee Darvish throws and Lee grounds one the first Cronenworth the second not in time. So Cronenworth caught it. It's a line out the first and just getting back was Nick Ahmed. Lee's over two two down. Three 
I could have sworn that was on the ground, but no, apparently it was a line out. It's a very low line drive. Nice sketch. Yeah. Ahmed. A low line drive ca caught by Cronenworth. And Ahmed just got back, and it didn't help the Padres that Kim dropped the ball. Diving up Jorge Soler. Struck out swinging his first time up against Darvish. Giants have two hits. I had zero in there because I pressed the wrong button, but they have two hits. Soler on the first pitch. He sees grounds it foul. Oh, and one. He wanted to send that one to, let, to LA. He wanted to send the one to Otani. Down there. Count all in one to Soler. I'll do anything for a Soler home run. This at bat. Do anything. I'm in at second. 0 1. Darvish throws to Soler. 40th pitch. Soler on a curve, swings and misses. 0 and 2. Once again, next giant stream will be tomorrow night. Game 2 of this series, 9.40 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.40 p.m. Pacific. We'll be live for that game. It's going to be Kyle Harrison versus Joe Musgrove tomorrow night. The 0-2. Soler hits a fly ball in the air to right center field. Jackson Merrill towards right. Will call off Tatis and Merrill make the catch. But the Giants get their first runs of the season. Two hits, one run. Kakusano, Wade, Merrill coming up in the bottom of the third for the Padres. So fly out the center there. I'm an idiot. It's one run and two hits. There we go. And Giants leave a man on as well. It's a 7 8 9 coming up for the Padres. SG says, I should join the NorCal Sports Network and support Dan. I watch their shows a lot of time. If they post a link, maybe, like today or tomorrow, maybe I'll pop in. But I always watch. I watch their show or. That they did the last night when they corrected the Giants opening day roster. I watched that show. If they post the link today or tomorrow, maybe I'll pop in. Maybe. We got 11 people in here. If I'm going to get some viewers up, hit that like button if you have not already. A like goal tonight initially is 15. So if we can get two more likes, that'll be 10. So let's get two more likes at the very least and let's get the 10 likes right now. I believe that's definitely doable. Let's get two more likes. If you're a Giants fan, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be doing Giants baseball all year long, so you are most definitely in the right place if you're a Giants fan. It's beautiful to see Giants baseball back. Beautiful to hear the greatest announcers in baseball back, Crook and Kipe. Just a happy day. Spring break started for me. It's opening day. Can't be much better than this. Can't be. You gave your knife like thank you, Shardall. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. So I said this in the open. Mike Conforto in left field today is the 18th straight different left field the Giants have had on opening day. So well, Blake Sable was the last year. Jock Pearson 22. Austin Slater 21. Dickerson in 20. Started off with Barry Bonds in 07. 01 pitch to Tatis is ground to seconds. Ahmed. Nick Ahmed will Wade. throw him out. One pitch, one out. Two pitches, one out, Kripe. He threw two pitches there. <laughs> one out. That'll bring up Tyler Wade. Get him early. Stay out of the two -strike count. Yes, one like away from 10. Let's get there. Wade, a former Yankee, had a very had a good spring, so you have to call up here on opening day. First pitch to Wade is a change up down and in for ball one. Very fast player, Tyler Wade. Good defensively. So far the season, batting 600 in Korea. That one is mm, caught a ball by Vic Carapaza. Been a weird zone so far today for Carapaza, calling ball strikes and calling. Like that, pitch a strike a ball. Now he calls a pitch perfectly. On the outside corner, 2-1. and one. Perfect pitch from Webb. Perfect call from Carapaza. 2-1 and one on deck for the Padres is the rookie, Jackson Merrill. Webb's working really quick here. Wade fouls off himself. 2-2. Two and two. We're at 12 now? How about that? Yeah, we're at 12 now. Let's go. They're coming up. 
So it'll be a 2 2 here to Tyler Wade. And Wade grabs this one foul. 489 more likes to do a Giants post game. 489 more likes for a Giants post game show. That's definitely. If we can get 489 more likes, as promised, we'll do a Giants post game show. So, let's get to 500 as well. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Third strikeout for Webb. Two down. Two down. Here's Jackson Merrill. I don't know if you heard Kipe there, but it was a very energetic swing and a miss call by Kipe. Here's Jackson Merrill. First pitch to Merrill. Swung on a miss. Still in one on the sinker. Another good pitch from Webb. He's attacking these Padres hitters. The Padres aren't really figuring him out. Still without a base runner. Merrill grounds a foul. 0-2. Oh, oh. I spoke too soon. Oh. An E10? That's a softball glove, though. It's like 40 That's a... Long. I'm not going to make a comment on that. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to have a comment. O2 fish the Merrill's in the dirt one and two. Mr. Logger Strike. What's going on, Logger Strike? Webby's leaving spring training behind him. Yes, he is. Definitely looks like Didn't have a good spring. He is dialed in today. That's all that matters, so. Get to see Webb dialed in. 1 2 pitch to Merrill is down in. 2 and 2 on the slider. And unlike last year on opening day, he actually has a run. So maybe you can work with that. Again, maybe some run support today. 2 2, Merrill grounds it foul. Still 2 and 2. Yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued by Jackson Merrill. I watched him in the spring a bit. He had a very good spring. He's very impressive. 20 years old, 6'3", 195 pounds from Baltimore. He was drafted 27th overall in 2021. I'm very intrigued by Merrill. Definitely going to be paying attention this year. 2-2. Two, two, right down the middle. Strike three. Called Logan Webb with four Ks. Through three innings after three. one nothing Giants. Chapman Yastrzemski coming up. The Giants in the bottom half, in the top half of the fourth. So nine up, nine down for Logan Webb. Nine up, nine down. So Giants will have three, four, five coming up. Wade Chapman, yes. We got 10 people in here now. Let's go just four likes away from our initial like goal of 15. Just four likes away. Eleven, eleven. Logger strikes is Darvish has being away with a lot of stuff in the middle. Yes, he has. Especially breaking balls. Got to be more aggressive, especially with the sump. Yeah, Carapaza has not been consistent at all tonight. He has not been consistent at all today. So yeah, definitely be more aggressive. Last inning was a very positive sign, though. Like last inning a lot. You got Darvish in the stretch, and you made him pay because you seems like Giants figure out Darvish more when he's in the stretch. So get him back in the stretch. Take a walk or get another hit. Get some more runs for Webby. Get some more runs for Webby. Well, T -Mobile We're back here, top of the fourth. That's what I have. That's how I have LMB TV. T Mobile gives you free LMB TV, so that's the only reason I have this. So thank you, T Mobile. I love you. How about that deal? Switch to T-Mobile, you get free on TV. That's the only reason we even have T-Mobile, honestly. First pitch to Lamont Wade Jr. is a curve high. Actually, technically a sweeper. Well, I don't know. Wade is first time up, ground out the second on the first pitch he saw in the first inning. The 1-0. Curve in there. 1-1. Another pitch right down the middle from Darvish, and Wade just took it. The Yanks can blow it out, really. Already 0-4. Ooh, Astro's killing him. Yeah, not Garrett. Garrett Cole's going to be a huge loss for them. 
One one the Wade is a fastball inside. Two and one. To late night Lamont, although it's not really late night, it's just midday Lamont. Afternoon Lamont padding. The two one the Wade. Darvish kicks and deals, and Wade grabs this one foul. First base side, two and two. If you haven't seen it, the poll question today is where do you think the Giants are going to finish this year? First place in the NOS, first or second wild card, third wild card out of the playoffs. Right now, third wild card is winning. So if you haven't already voted in the poll, vote in the poll. I think third wild card personally. But vote in the poll if you haven't already. 2 2 pitch to Wade. Curve, Wade swings and grounds one in the right field for a base hit. She was more like a low line drive. And Wade with a leadoff single. Giants had their third hit of the day. Finally, there's a curve. Again, right down the middle, and Wade swung at it. Good piece of hitting. Not being a Matt Chapman who struck out looking his first time up, but he did have a good long at bat. Yeah, Radon's going to have a better season than he did last year for the Yankees. Definitely. He was terrible. Like, in the in the sixes, I was shocked how bad he was last year. I think he will definitely be better, though, this year. Chapman on the first pitch. He sees grounds one in the left field. Another hit. The Giants back-to-back -back singles on back-to-back -back pitches. First and second, nobody out for Mike Yastrzemski coming up. I keep, yeah, I'm thank you for the update, Shardo. I keep forgetting hits. That's like a new thing I have on the scoreboard here. Keep forgetting hits. See, that Chapman was his first hit as a Giant. First hit is a giant right there from Matt Chapman. First pitch to Yastrzemski is a curve outside called a ball. Well, you know. Yeah, as his first time up, struck out looking. He was the last batter. Darvish struck out. He said, thank you for the reminder, Shara. I'll take the hits. The one-up pitch to Yaz. Darvish throws at the knees, one and one on the fastball. Giants and they get some more runs here. They had a good chance. They got two on with Yaz up. Tyra Stroud on deck. You can four to win the hole. Maybe get at least two more runs here. Maybe. Two more runs would be nice, at the very least. 1-1 one, one to Yastrzemski. And he swings and misses on a curve in the dirt. 1-2, and two, good pitch there. By Darvish at 74. Giants will have Kyle Harrison on tomorrow, and the Padres will have Joe Musgrove. We'll be live for that game as well tomorrow night. It'll be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. 1-2 pitch to Yaz. With Wade at second, Chapman at first, and Yaz strikes out swinging. Fifth K for Darvish, Yaz down swinging. Yaz strikes out for the second time today. Struck out looking his first time up, and he strikes out swinging. His second time up, here's Tyro Estrada. Tyro is first time up, ground out to third. Estrada bounced out to third. Yeah, no perfect game for Darvish. Definitely not. Trying to get out of this jam here. First pitch to Estrada, and Darvish actually looks over. The second to fix a throw. First disengagement of the at bat. This counts as a step off. First pitch to Tyro. And Tyro fouls it back. 0 and 1. Liger Shrike says Darvish should be a, a Hall of Famer, maybe second rounder. Yeah, I don't think he should be first ballot, but. I think he's had a career that can put him in the Hall of Fame, definitely. He is nasty. And Darvish looking to bounce back after his worst year of his career in terms of ERA last year. Had an ERA of 4.56. Looking to bounce back this year. 0-1 to Estrada. Curve off the glove of Darvish. Recovers, so it's the first. Gets Estrada, but Chapman Wade move up. Now second and third with two down. And here comes Michael Gonfordo, who had the first hit of the ball game for the Giants. Right 
to Bogarts at second base. He just stepped on second into the end. So one three. Well, yeah, one three. Darvish pitches to Conforto. Yeah, we'll see if Darvish pitches to Conforto here. Scored the under run as well to Conforto. He scored on the I'm at RBI double. First pitch to Conforto. Curveball grounded foul. First base side on one. Again, Wade on third, Chapman at second with Patrick Bailey on deck, Michael Conforto in the batter's box. There's Patty Barrels. Patty Barrels. 0-1 oh, to Conforto, 55th pitch from Darvish. He throws, and that's a splitter outside. 1-1. Yeah, that's a cool park, at Petco. A little burn they have. It's a very cool park. I want to visit Petco Park sometime. One of the best parks in the entire game. Conforto grounds one foul, one and two. Yeah, Petco's definitely on my bucket list. That's Treese. If Logan Webb gets a perfect game, then I'm going to go on the Norcast for us now for the post game. I'm so excited. Yeah, Webb getting a perfect game would be amazing. On opening day, that would be amazing. Darvish one pitch away from getting out of this unscathed. 1-2 to Conforto. He throws. And Conforto saves alive. Bounces it straight back. That was a good pitch. Splitter outside. Good thing Conforto got a piece. The 1-2 pitch to Conforto now on Eagles time. First disengagement for Conforto in this at bat. Never had a Norcal Sports Network post game show, Sharnoff. They're very fun, especially when the Giants lose. I mean, I don't root for them to lose, but when they lose, it's good. It's good venting that, the, that you get over there. And the one, two. one two to Conforto, and he swings and misses strike three. Darvish. Works out of a jam. Giants lead 2 1 after 3.5. 1 nothing. Giants. Bogarts, Tatis, Cronenworth. Top of the order coming up for the Padres against Logan Webb. Giants do not score. That it in. Get two hits, but no runs. And I will be right back. Can't contain the excitement. Says SG. Padres on top of the order. Bogarts, Tatis, Cronenworth. First pitch to Bogarts is lined. Center field base hit. First hit of the day for the Padres on the first pitch. Bogarts sees. It's a bloop to center. So perfect game out of line for Webb. Charles going to be disappointed. Be very disappointed. Here's Fernando Tatis Jr. So the 
first hit the first base runner for the Padres. First base runner in general for the Padres, not just the first hit. Tatis is first time I ground out the second in the first inning. In the two hole today in right field. Oh, first pitch Tatis is tapped foul. 0 and 1. Yeah, first time I've been in the stretch today. This is BS. <laughs> Get that crap out of here. This is BS, says SG. Yeah, ground ball would be very nice here. Especially a ground ball like to Nick Ahmed. That would be ideal here for Logan Webb. 0-1. Oh, one. That one is a change up down and in. 1-1 one, one, the Tatis. On deck for the Padres is Jake Cronenworth with once again Xander Bogarts and first base. 1-1. One, one. And slider a bit outside and low. 2-1. and one. Oh, So Shardo will not be a viewer at the end Norcast Force Network post game show. Will not be a viewer. 2-1 pitch to Tatis. Tatis taps it foul. He slung out of his shoes there. Man, two and two. It was way too early. This will be pitch number 50 for Logan Webb. On the stretch, 2-2 two, two, Tatis, and Webb will throw over the first base. Bogarts gets back. Much to the dismay of... Padres Nation. This should be pitch number 50. Webb from the stretch. Kicks and deals. Tatis on the ground to second. Estrada Ahmed. Ahmed to Wade. And it's a double play. Webb gets exactly what he's looking for. 4 6 3. 2 down. Great job, Logan Webb. Nice turn as well for the Giants. Quite routine. Estrada flipped to Ahmed. Ahmed throw to Wade at first. A little high. But Wade with a nice stretch. Keeps his foot in the bag. Makes the catch. Two down. Here's Cronenworth. First pitch to Cronenworth. His slider way inside. Why no? Most ground ball double plays last season. The MLB Logan Webb had 30 of them. That's first. Behind him was Bryce Elder with 26. Cronenworth up the middle. Nick Ahmed will throw him out. And Logan Webb with a 1 2 3 fourth. Gives up a hit. But after 4 1 0 Giants, Bailey, Ahmed, Lee coming up for the Giants in the fifth inning. The great inning there again by Logan Webb. Already the fifth inning flying by this game is. More runs would be great for the Giants here in the fifth coming up. They'll have 8 9 1 Bailey Ahmed and Young Hu Lee. Hey, we're just two likes away from our like goal of 15. So hit that like button. Let's go. Two more likes until we get there. Of course, the more the merrier. If you want to go over 15 likes, that's fine with me as well. The more the merrier. I'm fine with like 20 likes or. 30 likes. Whatever you want to do. I don't care. <laughs> but likes do help me out a ton. It doesn't really give me money. So if you're worried about that. It doesn't give me any money at all. It just helps me out in terms of interactions. Like the more likes equals the more algorithm. In terms of YouTube. So more likes equals more views. So it's free. Why not? 
hit that thumbs up button. I'm right, back. Real Plan features the most thrilling 22 games of the season. Learn more at sfgiants.com slash thrill. So Patrick Bailey, the oh, first time favorites. he faced Darvish, he flew out to Jackson Merrill in center field. First pitch to Bailey in the fifth. He is swung on a missed still in one. That was pitch number 59 by you Darvish. Still trying to find some rhythm in his swing. Got hit on the right hand while in the catchy position on a foul ball. Really set up. The 0 1. Darvish throws, and that's a splitter down and in. 1 1. The Patty Barrels. It's like when I'm a waiter. Oh, it's like when you tip a waiter. Yeah. It's kind of like when you tip a waiter, hitting that like button. It's kind of like a tip. So, why not we got 14 tips? I get like 15 tips today. 1 1 to Bailey. Is at the knees. 1 and 2. Good cutter there. Cutter by you, Darvish. On deck is Nick Ahman, who had the RBI double in the third inning. One, two to Bailey. Darvish throws, and that one is way outside. Two and two. So once again, Giants fans, next stream will be tomorrow night when the Giants play the Padres. Tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. So tune in for that if you're interested. Giants Padres again tomorrow night will be live for. Two, two. Bailey tapped it foul. Went off Kenty Sano on a slider. Still two and two. One like represents one dollar. Yep. One like represents one dollar in terms of tips. But again, likes don't, really, likes don't like on YouTube wise. Likes don't give me money. Just give more algorithm. So YouTube recommends the stream more. That would mean more views. So. But yeah, it's free. So. Helps me out like fast. That was a voice crack. 2 2 pitch to Bailey. And Bailey fouls them back on a fastball. Still two and two. I love hearing these voices back in my on my computer. Brook and Kipe. When when these two do eventually call it, which is gonna be soon, unfortunately, it's gonna be a whole different time. Gonna be a whole different experience watching Giants baseball. Bailey strikes out swinging on a sleeper. One down, seventh right, strikeout for you, Darvish. But when Crick and Cap eventually do call it, it's going to be a whole different experience watching Giants baseball on your TV. Yeah, so Ahmed in his first at bat as a Giant had an RBI double. Don't be like a Paul DeYoung and just have an incredible first game, don't hit the rest of the time <laughs> throughout the team. Ahmed, please don't be like Paul DeYoung. First pitch to Ahmed in the second at bat is a fly ball to center. Jackson Merrill will square up and make the catch. One pitch and Ahmed is retired. Two down. You have an autograph from Crook and Kipe on your Giants jersey. Wow, that's really cool. That's really cool. I would, do, I would love to meet Crook and Kipe. That would be like a... That'd be a tough experience in my life if I ever got to meet these two guys. It'd be amazing. First pitch to Young Hu Lee. Lee over two. First pitch he sees in his third at bat is at the belt 0 and 1. So again, Lee over two. He struck out looking on three pitches his first time up, and his last time up he lined out to Drake Cronenworth at first. The 0 1 to Lee. Way outside, not even close. On a curve, one one. There's a couple guys in the Giants bullpen that are wearing the same patch. Yeah, Landon Roof and Eric Miller. Both have the MLB debut patch, just like Young Hu Lee. One one. Fish number sixty nine from Darvish. Very nice number. He is in the dirt two and one. There's Young Hu Lee's family. I'm guessing. Yep, there's his family. To watch his first ever Major League game. 2-1. That one's way inside. Almost hit him. 3-1. On a curve in the dirt. It's 
sound of a ball game. Beautiful. Three one pitch to Young Hu Lee. Darvish throws and Lee takes strike two on a slider on the inside corner. Count goes full. Again, all I got from Young Hu Lee would be very cool too. I'm excited to watch Young Hu Lee this season. And very high expectations for him. Darvish and all the pitch clock here. Three two to Lee is line center field. Merrill is gonna play it on a bounce, and that's Young Hu Lee's first major league hit. A line drive single to center. So give him that baseball back. Two out single for Lee in the fifth. <laughs> Dave Kreshner takes it. So that's history for Young Hu Lee. Here's Jorge Soler. He's also for two a strikeout swing and a fly out the center for Soler today. Darvish with a pickoff to the first. They got Lee picked off. Well, he gets his first hit. And then he gets picked off at first. Clock to the majors, Young Hu Lee. Halfway home, 1 0 Giants. Machado, Kim, Profar. Coming up. <laughs> Lee gets picked off right after. That's quite funny. I'll be right back. <laughs> Change in auto service. I can't be hearing that for 162 days. <laughs> Love that. Here's Manny Machado leading off the bottom of the fifth to the Padres against Logan Webb. First pitch to Machado is a perfect sinker. 0 and 1. Two Machado is first time up, lined out to right field. 0 1 pitch to Manny who's down low. 1 and 1. And if you're one of the nine people in here, feel free to chat. Also, hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet already done so. 1-1 one, one is too low. 2-1. Two Giants, five hits, one run. Padres, no runs. One hit. They've been retired. First 12 in order. And 3-1. And one. I thought it shakes his head there. Padres have one hit, but literally right after the hit, that was Xander Bogarts. He got doubled off. 3-1, and that's ball four. First walk of the day for Logan Webb, Machado, wants to lead off wall. Here's Ha-Song Kim. Kim, his first time up, fly it out. 
to right field, Mike Krzyzewski. First pitch he sees is on the inside corner. 0-1 to Hassan Kim. This is a very cool chat. I like this champ in Padre fans. Hassan Kim. 0-1 is outside 1-1. One one. Logan Webb, 12 of his, of his 14 first pitches today have been strikes. Yvonne, what's going on? Says, I like for Tati, for a Tatis home run. Okay. I think I'll take a light get it. I think I like any way I can get it. Kim base it over the leap of Estrada in the center field. Lee will throw the third. Machado two third. He'll get there, and the Padres have the corners with nobody out. Here comes Jerickson Profar. Second of the day for the Padres. Corners, Seth Messermith, Ravens, Orioles. What's going on, Seth? Says, go Giants. I agree with you there. How are your Orioles doing today, Seth? How are your Orioles doing? So Watson, they had like a 5-1 lead over the Angels earlier. First pitch to Profar is grounded up the middle and through in the center field. Machado's going to score, and the Padres tie the game at 1. A seeing eye RBI single for Jerks and Profar. One to one, we're tied. And it's still second and first. And lead off walk comes back to hunt. Yep, leadoff walk on Slogan Webb. Yeah, he's pitching for the ground ball. I mean, that's the one thing about ground ball is once you get it on the ground, you've done your job. But they don't always find a glove. They have Tyro Estrada played the pull. They gave away the middle of the, of the diamond from the right side. So yeah, tied on one here is Luis Campusano. Still 2-1, still nobody out as well. This saying for the Padres. Apusano was first time up, ground out the short. Webb looking to keep the damage at just one. This will be pitch number 62. And first pitch to Campusano is down low. For ball one, 9-1, Orioles or Angels. Nice. No Trout hit a home run. That's all. That's what I remember in terms of the dingers. Trout hit a home run. One on one to Concasano, and of course the Trout home run is the only run the Angels have scored. Just that's Angels baseball. That's Angels baseball right there. Mike Trout doing everything. One one to Concasano. It is swung on and missed one and two. Good slider there by Webb. Base runners for the Padres: Hassan Kim at second and Jerickson Profar at first. So very good speed on the bases for San Diego. One, two. Webb throws Kakusano. Bloop. Base hit right field. Hassan Kim is going to stop at third. And it's bases loaded. Nobody out for San Diego. And here comes Tyler Wade. So, ever since the leadoff walk issued by Webb, he has not been the same. So, pitching coach Brian Price is going to come out for his first mound visit of the year. So once again, Webb looking to keep the damage at just one. SG so the Giants will I'll swear and vent. Oh, I don't want you swearing. <laughs> I don't want you swearing, SG. Yeah, Yankees, I heard, are getting crushed by the Astros. That's always good to hear. Yankees losing. So it'll be Tyler Wade. So Tyler Wade with the bases loaded at bat here. And the Padres. Padres fans in it, waving their yellow towels. Piss towels, like I call them. Piss towels. First pitch to Wade is on the inside corner, 0 1. Good pitch, by the way. Hopefully, Brian Price in his mound visit settled him down. It's 1 1. 
O on the Wade is down and a change up one and one. That was a good pitch. And a good take. Kim at third, Profar at second, Capusano at first of the base runners for San Diego. 1-1. One, one. Wade grounds it foul. 1-2. and two. Yeah, Webbs is attacking Wade inside. So I guess that was the message from Brian Price. Attack him inside. Home run always 11-1. Damn. Damn. Oil's killing Anaheim. 1-2 to Wade. Webb throws. Another pitch inside. This time Wade takes it. 2-2. Two two. This makes this a big pitch because he can go out of the strike zone here. He is pitching for the strikeout. 2-2. Two two. Wade taps this one. First base. Wade coming in. He's going to tag Wade. But a run's going to score, I believe. Or this. Wow. Wade. Lamont Wade didn't even get the tag off on Tyler Wade. So everybody's safe. And it's two to one Padres. Wow, they're going to look at this here. So that could that could be dreadful for the Giants if they, if they somehow did not get it out there. A run's going to score anyway, but looking to see if Lamont tied, tagged out Tyler Wade. So this is a replay operation center looking at this call here. So let's see. Lamont, did he get the tag off? He may have missed. Yeah, Hammer did not have a good look at all. So, yeah, Lamont got that tag off. So they, they, that should be an out here. Yeah, okay, they call it an out. So a run scores, 2-1 to one Padres, but Lamont so luckily did get the out on Tyler Wade. 2-1. to one. So Mike Schilt want an explanation here. Yeah, Lamont definitely got that tag off. Definitely got that tag off. 100%. You can't tell if they tagged him or not. I think he did. I think he did make contact. But if they rule him out because of out of the baseline, it's tough to be out So of now baseline. batting for the Padres is the rookie center fielder Jackson Merrill. So this former Cardinal manager. First year as Padres manager taking over for Bob Melvin. Mike Schilt. Padre fans in building, but that was the right call from Adam Hammery, the first base umpire. Ryan Walker's warming up in the Giants bullpen. Ryan Walker getting ready for the Giants in the bullpen. So Macy Ryan Walker today. And his funky delivery. Next pitch will be pitch number 72 for Logan Webb. And a 2-1 ball game, San Diego on top. Still second and third here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch to Merrill is in the dirt, ball one. So Profar is pinch ran for. Jose Azokar is going to pinch run for Jerickson Profar. one -oh pitch to Merrill. Way inside. Not even close. 2-0. Chart also says, looks like the Giants will start the season 0 and 1. Yeah. Maybe they'll have a comeback in them, though. Maybe. 2 0. Tapped foul by Merrill. 2 and 1. The Giants do have the infield in here. So, another look at this ground ball. Yeah, I think Wade definitely got him. 2-1. And that one is grounded to first. Estrada comes home. The second baseman, Estrada, got him. What a play by Tyro. And Azokar is out at home, two down. That is a huge play there from Tyro Estrada. Wow. Great tag as well by Patrick Bailey. That was very impressive. 
So it was going the way, but Estrada took the ball instead himself. Threw home, and yeah, they definitely got a Zokar. Two down. What a play by Tyro. That's a gold glove play by Estrada. Here's Xander Bogarts. Bogarts in the first pitch he sees, hits a pop-up. Estrada in center field be called off by Nick Ahmed, and Ahmed will make the catch. Logan Webb does lump the damage, just two, but after five Padres have a two to one lead. Jorge Soler, Lamont Wade Jr., and Matt Chapman coming up for San Francisco in the top of the sixth. Yeah, Angel are gonna be only one if it was 11 to one, <laughs> definitely. So two runs on how many hits? Three hits. The Padres, yep. Three hits, and they left two on. That play by Estrada was just beautiful. Man. So the poll now is looking like 35% of people say he's first place in the NL West. 15% say first or second wild card. The majority, including myself, says 40% third wild card. And 10% of people say the Giants will miss the playoffs this year. Yeah, no perfect game at all for Webby. No shutout either for Logan. No shutouts. Her perfect game. All right, back. Well, the first bobblehead giveaway of the season is Saturday, April Camino de Wall bobblehead, Saturday, April 6th. So Lighter will lead off the six. He did technically bat last inning, but then he got. Because that bet interrupted after Jung Hoo Lee got picked off first. First pitch to Solaire is down low for ball one. Solaire is over two with a strikeout and a fly out the center. So Jose Azokar, who pinch ran for Profar, will play left field now. One off pitch to Solaire's top foul. One and one. In the Padres' bullpen, they have action. It's a lefty, I believe. Who is this? I didn't really show who that was. Wish you could show who that was, MC Sports. 1-1 one, one pitch to Solaire. Is a curve. I mean, that almost got back in there for a strike. 2-1. and one. Tom Crosgrove is in the Padre bullpen. One of three lefties. Tom Crosgrove. He was nasty last year, young lefty. 2-1 pitches to Lair. Ooh, up and in, 3-1. Getting not even close there. That was closer to Solaire's face than it was to the strike zone. That's how bad that pitch was. Yeah, they are. The web leadoff walk is really what caused that inning to go out of hand. The leadoff walk is what, I think, caused it. 3-1. Solaire takes one at the knee, the perfect pitch. Three and two. It'll be a full count to Solaire with Lamont Wade Jr. on deck. Pitch number 78 for Darvish, three to Solaire is inside ball four. First walk for Solaire as a giant. Second walk issued today by, actually no, first walk issued today by Darvish. I was confusing Webb's walks with Darvish's walks. First walk by Darvish and here comes Lamont Wade Jr. So Mike Schilt is coming out and that is going to do it for you Darvish on opening day. Tom Cosgrove is coming in in a 2-1 ball game.
First time hearing that this year. Speedy oil change. Darvish done after five innings. Cosgrove will come in with Solaire at first, and he'll face Lamont Wade Jr., or maybe a pinch hitter. Lefty-lefty matchup here. I'll be right back. <laughs> Pitcher Tom Cosgrove is on the mound for the San Diego Padres. He'll face the pinch hitting Wilmer Flores. So first pitch to Wilmer with Solera first. Cosgrove throws. There's a strike. 0-1. Oh that was a good slider there. And he was very good. In 54 games, the area of just 1.75 for... Cosgrove, a sidearm release, another perfect pitch. 0-2. Oh, to Flores. On deck is Chapman. You want to turn this game off and play the show. So this is she. Last year, Wilmer had a career-high 23 home runs. This is a career year in general for Flores. 0-2, oh, a little bit too outside. One and two. I mean, there was nowhere near the plate on the break of that pitch, but the fact that it was caught. Yeah, it's this nasty pitch. Cosgrove is nasty. Man. One two pitch to Wilmer. Cosgrove throws, and that one's way outside. Two and two. First fastball Cosgrove has thrown. By the way, we got 11 people in here. Hit that like button. We got a like below 15, but, you know, the more the merrier. You can get more than 15, so hit that like button. It's free, helps me out a ton. 2-2, two, two, Flores strikes out, swinging on a sweeper. One down. If I'm Lamont Wade Jr., I know what happened when I used to get pinch hit for. The guy would strike out and say, well, I could have done that. So you Darvish's final opening day stat line was five innings pitched, five hits, one run, one walk. And seven strikeouts. First pitch Matt to Chapman. Matt Chapman is a strike on the outside corner. Good pitch there by Cosgrove. Into left field is a floor. Okay, trail by a run. The 0 1. And Chapman, it's a high fly ball to left field, not deep. The left fielder Jose Azokar will make the catch. Two down. Starting up, maybe a pinch hitter. So Mike Krzyzewski's spot in the order. And yes, is going to hit against the lefty Cosgrove. So lefty-lefty matchup here. Yes has struck out twice today. One looking, one swinging. That was in the second and the fourth. First pitch to Yaz in his third at bat is a sinker way inside. 1-0. You're at to lose it. Don't lose it. Stay sane for me, Shardaw. Stay sane. Up there for but a ball. 
1 1 to Yaz. 1 0 to Yaz, beg your pardon, is a little bit too outside. 2 0. May have caught the corner, but Cosgrove did not get the call. 2 0. To a pitch, Yaz takes one on the inside corner. Perfect pitch again. That sweeper is nasty. The sweeper mixed with that release is disgusting for Tom Cosgrove. 2 1 pitch to Yastrzemski. Cosgrove throws, and Yaz fouls one straight back. One strike away from getting out of this unscathed. Once again, the base runner for the Giants is Jorge Soler at first after he worked the leadoff walk. Against you, Darvish. Cosgrove looking to get out of it. The 2 2. Yeah, strikes out swinging. Giants leave another man on base. Five and a half, two to one Padres. Tatis, Chrono with Machado coming up. Great work out of the pen there by the lefty. Yes, yes, yes. I struck out six. I struck out three times today. Oh my god. Yes. Man. Three strike guess for Yashemsky today. Maybe the big day tomorrow is making him lose focus. Because once again, tomorrow, yes, he's going off paternity leave. Yeah, that was a little frustrating. SG. Says I'm <laughs> the straight up I'm. Oh, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to give. Oh, don't get violent. I don't want to be arrested for inciting violence in you. Don't get violent. Don't get violent. Go on a rampage. I mean, you can go on a rampage. Just don't get. Don't don't get violent with it. Like throw like your, like throw your remote at the TV. Don't like. Don't kill anyone. I don't want. I don't want to be responsible for that. Don't don't kill anyone. <laughs> don't kill anyone. What are we shadow banned or something? You got no one in here. We go on and go on a non-violent rampage. That's my request for you. So we're back here. No, we're not. That's a replay. First I pulled a John first Sterling. I pulled a John the Sterling right there. I thought we were back when they're just showing a replay. To to so, bottom the six, Fernando Tatis Jr. will lead off and take a first pitch strike at the knees by Logan Webb. 0 oh, 1 to Tatis is inside 1 1. So, Webb looking to bounce back after a not so good fifth thing after he gave up two runs on three hits. But only two runs, that's the important thing. Well, three on. Well, two on, beg your pardon. Tatis tapped it foul, one and two. I'll rip my TV and run the car over it. Jesus. You're going to rip your TV? Must be superhuman if you can rip a TV in half. Dang him, one, two. Outside, two and two. To Tatis. You really thought Estrada play is what saved the game for the Giants, maybe. Maybe the only reason they're still in it. Coming up from the Padres' bullpen is Johnny Brito. Tatis on a 2-2 pitch, flares one to center. Young Hu Lee is not going to get it. A leadoff single, fifth hit of the day for the Padres. Tatis is on. Starting up Jake Cronenworth. Runner horse is 0 for 2. A strikeout looking and a ground at the short. First pitch to Cronenworth. Webb throws a perfect pitch. Call the ball. Cut the corner. Why now? I have superhuman strength. I can rip my TV and take a baseball bat and shatter it. Damn. 
You are superhuman. Tatis gets his lead off first. One of pitch to Cronenworth is going to be a pickoff go to first. Tatis gets back. The 1 0. Cronenworth swings and misses 1 1. Good pitch there. Good changeup. 1 1. On deck for the Padres is Manny Machado, who led off of the walk last inning. That one is a little bit too outside, two and one. It was call. It was on the corner, the up and away corner, but called a ball by the home point umpire, Mark Ripperger. Two on the Cronenworth is in the dirt, three and one. No, you don't want to walk Cronenworth at all. If Webb does walk Cronworth, I'm guessing this is probably going to be his last batter. If I can make a guess. Manny Machado's on deck. Three one the Cronenworth is a strike on the inside corner. Good pitch by Webb. Full count. Webb hasn't had a strikeout since the third inning. So. Strike will be good now for Webb. Hasn't had one since the third. Luke Jackson is warming up in the Giants bullpen. Luke Jackson. 3 2 to Cronenworth. With Tatis at first, it's going to be another pickoff throw. So. Pitch number 87 for Webb, 3-2. Cronenworth taps it foul. Tatis was going, but he has to go back. Cronenworth stays alive, though. The 3-2 to Cronenworth. Tatis goes. Cronenworth taps this one right back to Webb. He'll throw to first and retire. Cronenworth. Tatis is going to third, and he just moved up 180 feet on a ground ball to first. Wow. That is Tatis' is speed in a nutshell. Baja has a guy on third with one out. Wow. So a ground ball right back to... It was down the first base line, and Tatis on a ground ball goes up two paces. Man, that is ridiculous speed. Wow. So with one out, Webb's got to try and pitch around this like a sack fly. Tatis is getting looked at by the Padres training staff. May have slid a little weird. In the third base. Oh, runs pretty well, so he was putting heat on the play. Webb gets the out at first. And uh, Wilmer Flores. So hopefully Tatis is okay. It looks like he's the game is Mike, Mike Schilt, the manager. A a fist bump base. and he's okay. Just good baseball instincts on the base pass from Fernando Tatis Jr. Super quick, my God. So let's see how he slid. Hmm. He did kind of run into Chapman's leg. Anyways, here's Manny Machado. Once again, let off last inning with a walk and then scored. Last inning. Chance to drive in a run here in the sixth. Webb's still in the game. First pitch to Machado is a changeup down and away. 1 0. Yeah, 400 people clicking that like button. Let's go. Let's get 400 more likes. Let's do it. Listen to Shardall. If not me. 1 0 pitch to Machado. Is he gets jammed and flares one is going to be caught by Estrada on a pop out. Tatis will say at second, say at third. That's a big after Logan Webb. Two down. That ran a pass on Kim. The guy at third, two down. Machado. Not happy with himself after that. It was not a good pitch to swing at whatsoever. 
First pitch to Hassan Kim is way outside on a slider. Why you I think Bo Jackson did it without using his leg. Kim won for two, a single in the fifth, and he also scored a run in the fifth. He scored on the Tyler Wade RBI. 1-0 is inside 2-0 on a changeup. On deck for the Padres is Jose Azokar. So you, it won't be the end of the world if you walk, Kim. It will not be the end of the world at all. 2-0. There's a strike. Nice pitch. 2-1. The inside out of the ball to right field. I mean, that's a ball. That's at a bat where you anticipate a movement coming into you, and you have a swing that can beat it. Show it off. You can promote yourself. If you can promote us to 20 likes, I'll give you mod. How about that? Inside 3-1 to Kim. If Chardal can get us to 20 likes, I'll give Chardal mod. How about that, SG? If you get us to 20 likes, you can be a mod. That's the deal. If you get, if you get us to 20 likes, you can be a mod. So they're just going to intentionally walk Kim. So Melvin puts up the four fingers. And now it's first and third with two down for Azokar. So Azokar is going to hit. So if we can get to 20 likes because of Shardall and his promoting, he'll get moderator. So let's get to 20 likes. Luke Jackson still warming up. We'll see if he comes in now. First pitch to Azokar is a swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Good pitch there from Webb. Azokar is 1 for 2 this season. He pinched right in for Profar last inning, getting his first at bat of the day. Today, runner goes and Azokar swings and misses. Bailey does not make a throw. Kim with a stolen base, 0 and 2. The count. So Kim steals second. are going to throw around 100 pitches? When you look at the box scores tomorrow. 0-2 pitch to Jose Azokar with second and third, two down, and Azokar fouls it straight back. Another slider there. Just get three more people to click on the like button, and you'll get mod. His strike zone with two strikes. I mean, he didn't come that far away from beating him on that pitch. You got to be careful here. The next pitch, or this pitch. 0-2 pitch, pitch to Azokar. Webb throws a Zokar. Strikes out, swinging big strike out for Logan Webb. And after six, it's two to one Padres. Tyro Estrada, Michael Conforto, and Patrick Bailey coming up in the top of the seventh. That was Logan Webb's fifth strikeout. It came at a big time. Probably going to end his outing. 2-1 to one Padres after 6. 2-1 Padres after 6. So Padres are only 2 on. We are already the 7th inning. Almost 7th inning stretch time. Gotta get my seventh inning stretch music in here for tomorrow night. I gotta get that going for tomorrow night. I need my seventh inning stretch sounds. We got 10 people in here. I'm doing Chardal's job here, but hit that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 20 likes right now. So hit that like button. I'm going to change the like even to 20. We can definitely get there in three more innings, I believe. Let's need four more. Who's Seth? <laughs> Who's Seth? Seth. Hit that like button. Yeah, Seth. Come on, Seth. Hit that like button, Seth. We're back. Hold up. Diver started the ball game. He threw well. So box score. Pot Giants scored their only run in the third. That was a Nick Ahmed RBI Ahmed double. And the Padres scored the both their runs in the fifth. Jokes and Profar an RBI single. Each team has five hits, but the Padres have two runs. Giants have 
just one. New pitcher for the Padres is Johnny Brito. First battle faces Tyra Estrada, and the first pitch she throws is a strike on the outside corner. Brito, a former Yankee, came to the Padres in the Juan Soto trade. Soto obviously now a Yankee. 0-1 oh, to Estrada, and Estrada swings and misses 0-2. Book 2 pitch to Tyro. Brito throws Estrada off the mound and in the center field. Tyro Estrada with hit number 6 of the day for the Giants. His first, and the Giants have a leadoff single. Hit him where they ain't, as Kype just said. That's what Strider just did. Lead off single, here comes Michael Conforto. And right off the mound. Conforto had a double in the third and he scored a run. So he's one for two. First pitch to Conforto in the seventh with the Strider at first is a curveball at the belt. 0-1. Oh Ooh. One like away. Actually, no, two likes away. We're at 18. So two likes away from Chardal being a mod. There's a pickle throw to first, and Tyro gets back. That's got his beam. He is beam I thought he right updated there. the hits. I thought it was good there. <laughs> I always forget to update the hits after the hit just happens. He's got an aim move. It'll be a lot quicker than that. The 0 1 pitch to Conforto. Brito throws. Now one is uh, 89 mile per hour changeup low. 1 1. Seconds of unload time. On deck is Patrick Bailey, who's 0 for 2. 1 1 pitch to Conforto. With a strat at first. Brito kicks and deals. And that's a. What is that movement? My goodness. 90 mile per hour changeup on the outside corner. One and two. That movement was ridiculous. My goodness. Johnny Brito. Filthy stuff. One, two. Conforto. In the center field of base. Hit Estrada is going to stop at second. Back to back. Single for the Giants. They got first and second. Nobody out. And here comes Patrick Bailey. Another good piece of hitting right up the middle. And just like Kype would say, hit them where they ain't. <laughs> That's what Conforto did that time. Second hit of the day for Conforto. So, got right past Hassan Kim. So, this is going to be a mound because you're Capusano and Bogarts. And Tyler Wade will also join in. We'll talk to Johnny Brito. And he's just trying to get... So the pitching coach Ruben Niebla. So in the Padre bullpen, Yuki Matsui, the lefty. That was a big signing this offseason for the Padres, Yuki Matsui. So Matt Williams looking to wave a man in. Here. Hoping Patrick Bailey can get the RBI. Be upon the killer of Thanos, I am Iron Man. Click that like button. Please start off. So this is a big at bat here for Bailey, who has flown out the center and struck out swinging. So this is a big at bat here, looking to, at the very least, tie the game or maybe even at best, give the Giants the lead. Also, if he just gets out here with a walk, that'd be fine. Just don't get out here, Bailey. Just don't get out. First pitch to Bailey. Eighth from Brito. Shows bunt and pops it up foul. 0 oh 1. Giants bunting. We didn't see that a lot last year. Probably can see that more this year under Bob Melvin. More of an old school guy, obviously, than Kapler was. So, probably going to see some more bunts this year. Oh, on the bail. See if he shows bunt again. He does. And this time he gets it down. Third base side, Campusana will throw to first. Get him. But the bunt works. Going to third is Estrada. 
Going to second is Conforto. Very productive now. One down. And here comes Nick Gottman with the RBI double in third. The Giants only run on the ball game. So now the Padres will play the infield. So Padres bring the infield in here for Ahmed. Get the bat head on the top of the strike. It's a good bunt there. From Bailey. So first pitch to Nick Gahman the seventh. He is swung on him. He's still in one good sinker on 99. So Ahmed now with a single with the speed on the bases can probably get the Giants to lead, honestly. With like a bloop. Giants can take the lead three to two. There's a good speed on the bases. Once again, a strata at second. Strata at third can forward at second. 0-1 pitch to Ahmed is inside. 1-1. So it's not the end of the world here for Brito if he walks Ahmed. On deck is young Hoop Lee. So if Lee comes up, something even that silly facing him. 1-1 is grounded! In the left field for a base hit. Ahmed comes through again. Estrada scores. Conforto stops at third. RBI single. Giants have the corners. We're tied at two. Nick Gottman with an incredible Giants debut. Two RBIs. For the veteran shortstop, showing why he deserves to be on the opening day roster. Another single that finds a hole. It was a hanger. Ahmed made him pay. We're tied at two. Hit number eight for the Giants as well. So we're going to be back. So that's going to be it for Brito. Yuki Matsui is going to come in and face Young Hu Lee in a tie game at the top of the seventh, two to two. Giants have the corners with one out. So Yuki Matsui, new pitcher. So let me get let me update this scorebook here. So Cosgrove had a very nice inning. Brito gave up three hits. Damn. So Brito only won a third, gave up three hits a run. And that's yeah, that's not a good outing from Johnny Brito. And his Padres did beat once again, Brito came over. From the Yankees in the Juan Soto trade. See some other MLB scores around the league. So Blue Jays killing the Rays 8 to 2 in the bottom of the seventh. Pirates and Marlins tied at three the top of the, actually Pirates Marlins Marlins winning five three top seven. Yankees Astros, that game's tied now. Top seven four four. Twins lead the Royals two to one the eighth. Tigers leading the White Sox one nothing in the bottom of the eighth. Na Reds being the Nationals seven two mid seven. And the Dodgers killing the Cardinals. 6 1, the bottom of the 7th. I bet you Otani did something. Bet you Otani probably did something. Hope not. I hope Otani goes like 0 for a million this season. Mookie Betts had a home run. I are back. He's got a new pitcher for the Padres is Yuki Matsui. And he's from Japan. He's going to face Young Hu Lee. So a little foreign on foreign matchup here. Lee versus Matsui, both free agent signings with these teams. First pitch to Young Hu Lee. Matsui throws a first pitch strike right down the middle. Lee swings and misses. 0 and 1. Lee won for three in his first hit as a giant in the fifth inning. It's a little blue to center. Then he got picked off the very next pitch. So. 0 1 pitch to Lee. Matsui. Kicks and deals, and Lee takes a strike at the knees. Good slider. 0-2. In a tie game, 2-2. Two two. Giants once again at first and third, so a, so a fly ball into the outfield will, will definitely do here for Lee. 0-2. In the dirt, nice block by Campusano. But moving up to second on the wild pitch is Nick Ahmed. Good base running there by Ahmed. So that removes the double play possibility here. It was a double play possibility. That's big. 
career bats. He struck out looking his first AP, but after that, he's hit the ball hard both times. Yeah, following like that first strikeout, he'd like to get his second major league what? hit right here. I'm not 20, I'm at 19. Wait. In the dirt, 2 and 2. Nice block to my Campy Sun. You know what? We're close enough. Welcome to the mod squad. SG Sports Talk. Welcome to the mod squad, Shardall. That was close enough to 20. Or 19, but I'll give you it. 2 to the Lee. I'm at second. Conforto at third. Matsui. Throws Lee, hits a fly ball center in the air, center field. Merrill will come and make the Merrill catch. It should be deep enough. Merrill catches, Conforto comes home. He will score, but terrible base running by Nick Ahmed. Claw between second and third. He's going to be tagged out by Kim. Giants, though, do take the lead on the sack fly, 3-2. to two. Lee with his first RBI as a Giant, but Ahmed, bad base running. After six and a half, after seven and a half, three to two Giants. So, first RBI is a giant for Lee, but it was very weird. It's a little double play, I guess. Bomb seven coming up. We're three to two Giants. That was weird. I don't know what I was doing to go in the third. I have no idea. If you feel special, you are special. We're part of the mod squad, SG. You're part of the mod squad. Just don't abuse power. I say it to every mod. Don't abuse power. Or else you'll get a revoked. Don't just ban random people. So if you're a Giants fan, you are new here. You should hit that subscribe button because we'll be live for Giants baseball all year long, including tomorrow night for game two of the series. So like and subscribe because we're in the right place, most definitely, if you're a Giants fan. Giants will have Kyle Harrison tomorrow. Padres will have Joe Musgrove. Devin Shanahan says 40 winers. Oh, Devin Shanahan, what's going on? What are you a fan of, the Eagles or the Seahawks or something else? What's going on, Devin, though? Are you on our way to Kyle Shanahan? I mean, if you said 40 runners, I doubt it. But are you related to Kyle Shanahan, Devin? I might be talking to Kyle Shanahan's child here, Devin. Oh, Eagles fan. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Just, just don't bring up the Chiefs because I don't want to compare losses to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Eagles fan makes definitely sense. Very common actual last name. Yeah, that's true. And I just asked out of a joke. I know you're probably not related to Kyle Shanahan. <laughs> There's a lot of Shanahans out there. A lot of them. We're back here. Bomb seven, three to two Giants. Everybody back. Giants, here. Logan Webb is done. After six, new pitcher for the Giants is Luke Jackson, number 77. Last season, 33 games appeared in. Two and two record. We have 2.97 for Jackson. He had a very solid year coming off Tommy John last year. See the numbers for Luke Jackson last year. 297 ERA. Jackson, so first batter Jackson will face is Luis Campusano. You bet against you guys' team. <laughs> that against the Giants. Sorry, boys. Because Devin. Drop my pen here. Well, I think we saw something, Mike. That you know, over the last couple of years, we just haven't seen a lot of sacrifice bunts. Yeah, that was good to see by Bailey. I mean, especially under Kapler. I don't know the last time Giants laid down a sacrifice bunt, but under Belmel, job Bailey. I love I love bunts. I love old school baseball. Sack bunts move a guy up. That's good baseball to me. And there's Jung Hoo Lee after getting his first RBI as a Giant to give them the lead in the top of the seventh. 
So here we go, bottom seventh on the way. Jackson, first pitch to Luis Campusano is a slaughter on the inside corner. 0-1, good pitch. Campusano today is one for two, a single, and a ground at the short. The 0-1 is outside, 1-1. Echo Park is so beautiful. It's the second best bar park in the MLB besides behind Oracle. But it's a beautiful park. One one's in the dirt, two and one. Another slider. Pitch number four for Jackson is at bat two one pitch. He kicks, he deals, and it's a swing and a miss. Capusano down to one knee on that swing. Two and two, good slider there. We heard, um, I think it was Tuesday, that Jackson throws that slider to set up his fastball, which is interesting because most most of the times the other way around, it's fastball set up slider. Two two pitches line to left field for a base hit. Capusano has his second hit of the ball game, lead off single in the seventh. But yeah, that's interesting for Jackson. He throws a slider to set up his fastball. Very interesting there. We were on that Tuesday when he was mic'd up. I'll bring up Tyler Wade. Tyler I've been to CBB Wade. many times, Citizen Bank Park. It's a very nice park. I have it in my top five. I like Citizen Bank Park a lot. It's underrated, too. No one really talks about it as one of the nicest. First pitch to Wade is swung on a missed 0 1. Slider That's in the dirt. No in the on deck is Jackson Merrill, the rookie. Wade's 0 for 2. He does have an RBI, though. He had an RBI ground out in the. Fifth inning. That tied the game. I'd actually, th at that point, the Padres got the lead there. Two to one. Oh one. Wade with a flare down the right field line. Base in for Yastrzemski. Campusano will go to third. And it's first and third. Nobody after the Padres. And here comes Jackson Merrill. Back to back hits. Good piece of hitting there. Just a bloop down the right field line. Merrill got it. Yass is playing towards center. You can get there. First and third. So there's a double play in, in set here. Merrill is fast though, so it's going to be hard to double him off. But Jackson looking for a strikeout here, ideally. Merrill's low for two, a strikeout and a fielder's choice. First pitch to Merrill in the seventh is a slaughter outside for ball one. I always forget hits, so <laughs> forgive me for that. I always forget to update the hits in this scoreboard. Taylor Rogers, the lefty, warming up in the Giants bullpen. 1 0. And Merrill hits a pop up in the air. He's going to go foul into the seats. 1 1. I've been to Citizens Bank Park for like six times. I'm from the East Coast, so I've been there many times, but Oracle's probably my favorite, second favorite CBP. Then third favorite probably PNC. I like CBP over PNC Park, in my opinion. 1-1 one, one pitches inside, 2-1 and one to Merrill. Good play there by Patrick Bailey. Campusano at third, Wade at first. For a catcher, Campusano isn't really that slow. 2 1 pitch. Merrill taps it foul. 2 and 2. So there's one strike away from getting a strikeout, which is ideal for Luke Jackson because he gets a strikeout. A double play would end the inning. So. Hopefully a strikeout here for Luke Jackson. 2-2 two, two pitch to Jackson Merrill. Jackson kicks, Runner deals, runners goes, pitches in the dirt, Bailey throws a second, and it goes off the glove of Nick Ahmed. Capusano's going to score, and going two-third on the throw is Tyler Wade. We're tied at three. Maybe I like too much velocity or something for Ahmed. I don't know. But he just dropped it. And that hurts for the Giants. So Bailey cho chose to throw. 
The choice to throw also could have been questionable. I mean, if I was bad, I probably would have kept that in my glove there. But we're tied at three. So I'm, I, don't, I don't know who they're going to call that an error on, Bailey or Ahmed. 3-2 pitch is grounded foul by Merrill. Say alive, count still. 3-2. So what are they rolling this here? An error on Bailey or Ahmed? Let's see. So it was an error on Bailey. A throwing error. So an E2. First error of the year for Bailey. 3-2. Merrill, it's a pop-up foul again. Still three and two. Planted that fastball right in on the hands, and that will set up another breaking ball in the dirt. So again, a walk's not the end of the world here now for Jackson. Denger Bogart's on deck. Three two to Merrill is way outside ball four. Not even close. First and third, nobody out for Bogarts. No, oh, Giants, Giants, Giants. Giants pitching just can't get it out. Well, Patrick Bailey also looked in the dugout and said, you got to come out. So there's going to be a mound visit here. Jackson is going to be talked to. The medical staff is actually out. Bob Melvin and the training staff is out for the Giants, so... Jackson's going to leave this game because of an injury. So, what happened here? Oh, he did. Oh. He did screech in pain. Yeah, he just. The second the, man, the web. The train staff came out, Jackson left. So, he must be hurt. He did have Tommy John just two years ago. So, it could be some of his arm. I don't know, but Jackson's out. New pitcher coming up for the Giants is going to be, I believe, Taylor Rogers. And now a tie game at three. So it looks like it's going to be Walker. No, Ryan Walker actually is going to be. It's Ryan Walker coming in. So I have a lot of time to get warmed up. 3-3 three, three game. Three, three Bomb game. seven, nobody out. First and third for the Padres. We got 35 people in here. Let's go. We're finally getting some viewers. Maybe because, like, school's over in the Bay Area. But, yeah, I don't know why they have opening day on a Thursday at 1 o'clock. <laughs> doesn't make any sense but if you want the 35 people in here hit that like button it's free and helps me out a ton so why not hit that like button we're back for Giants baseball all year long so if you're a Giants fan you're in the right place so subscribe as well and turn the notification bell so you can notify whenever we go live also just a little side note here we're just 13 subscribers away from a huge milestone we're just 13 subscribers away from a thousand dude so so, I'm not saying we're going to get 1,000 tonight, but maybe we'll be live for tomorrow night's game. Maybe we'll, we can get 1,000 by tomorrow night. Maybe. 1,000 is a huge milestone because that means monetization for me, which I want because I love money. <laughs> I love money. So, like and subscribe if you haven't already. They're both free and they both help me out a ton. So feel free to chat as well. I try to respond to all the chat, so feel free to. I don't bite. I mean, I can't really bite anyway. If I were to bite through a screen, we're back. So new pitcher for the Giants, Ryan Walker, replaces the injured Luke Jackson. Walker had an incredible year, year last year in his first year in the major leagues. Forty-nine appearances, a five and three record. He opened a ton of times, had a save. Two in two opportunities. 3.23 ERA. It's going to hurt to support a, a Winers fan if you can be an exception. Thank you, Devin Janahan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Devin. Hopefully, we'll see you in the NFC Championship game next year, Devin. Hopefully, we'll see you there again. First pitch to Bogart is on the outside corner, 0 1. It's the best of three. We got to have game three. You won, we won. Hopefully, if there is an NFC Championship game next year, Niners-Eagles, Birdie will be healthy. Hopefully. 
Oh, one pitch to Bogarts. Is hit high to center field. It's going to drop for a base hit. Conforto picks it up. That's going to score Tyler Wade. And the Padres have a 4-3 to three lead. And they still have first and third. An RBI single for Bogarts. With how Bogarts looked at that ball, I thought he thought it was gone. He looked at that ball like he crushed it. But it's a base hit to left center. RBI single, 4-3. to three. San Diego. So now it's just damage control here for Ryan Walker. Keep it a one-run game. That would be good. First pitch to Tatis is a slider outside for ball one. You went to the last night. I was actually thinking of going to that game, but I looked at ticket prices. They were like $450, so we didn't go. But that was such a fun game. I love that game. 1-0 pitch to Tatis to third. Chapman looks back to the runner at third. Throws to first across the diamonds and retires Tatis. First out to the inning. One away. That's a big out there. You may not get Tatis, and you're also... So the runner at third is Jackson Merrill, and the runner at first is Andrew Bogarts. Now we're up Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth 0 for 3 with a strikeout and two ground outs. First pitch to Cronenworth is up and away, ball one. Craig Clark, what's going on, Craig? Says, I'm a lifelong Giants fan, just moved to Texas. This will be my go-to channel for the season. I subscribe today. Great job commenting the game. Thank you so much, Craig. Hope you like for Giants baseball all year long, so you're definitely in the right place. And thank you for the kind words. And going to have a good season this year. Going to have a great season. Hopefully better than last year. So thank you, Craig Clark. Appreciate that a ton. Two up pitch to Cronenworth. Is inside 3-0. Did Bogart steal second? I guess he did. So Bogarts actually stole second, second and third. One out. So now, honestly, I'd just walk Cronenworth here. Machado on deck. The 3 0. And Walker got a call. 3 and 1. The Crone zone. Every pitch you throw, you're thinking perfect location. Let your movement fall out of the strike zone. Let him help you out. The 3 1 pitch here. Walker throws Cronenworth, base hit right field. That's going to score two runs and make it 6-3 to three Padres as Jackson Merrill scores. And so does Bogarts. An RBI double for Jake Cronenworth. Padres up three. And that hurts for Ryan Walker. Two RBI double. Here's Manny Machado now. Possibly still have made a scoring position as well. First pitch to Machado. 6-3 Padres to put up a four spot this inning. Machado on the first pitch he sees grounds it foul. Third base side 0-1. That was Vajay's ninth hit as well. 11th pitch from Walker. 0-1 oh, to Machado. It is grounded to short. Nice play by Ahmed. And they don't show what happened there. They got him. Terrible camera work by MC Sports Bay Area. But a great play by Ahmed to get Manny Machado. Going two-third on the play was Cronenworth. Two down. That was a great play. Terrible camera work in the Sports Bay area. Man. Here's Hassan Kim. Kim today is one for two with a single intentional walk and a fly out to right field. First pitch to Kim the seventh is tap foul. 0 and 1. The Giants in these next two innings will have a lot of work to do, especially with the bats.
Yohan pitched to Kim. And a little bit too high on the slider. One or one. That's yeah, not a good pitch. Hassan Kim chance coming down. The one one. Walker to Kim right down the middle. Kim takes it. One and two. Yeah, I hate Machado, so yeah. Good thing he didn't get on base. Good thing Machado didn't get on base. Big pitcher for Walker, pitch number 15. 1 2 to Kim. Check swing. He checked it. Slider down and away. 2 and 2. On deck for the positives, if I guess him, hopefully it won't, is Jose Azokar. Mark Ripperger calls time here. Get something straightened out. Two two pitch coming up to Hassan Kim. Walker throws and Kim ground ball. It's gonna go foul. Just foul. That was trying to be a thing. If that was fair, that would have been so frustrating. He that pitch was not even close, and Kim literally just put his bat out. <laughs> Luckily for every Giants fan, every Giants player, that went foul. Because that would have been infuriating. That was a fair ball. Been ridiculous. Two two pitch to Kim. Walker looking to end this inning. He throws, and that one is got him on the outside corner. Very delayed call by Ripperger, but Walker limbs the damage to four. Six three Padres after seven. Solera Flores Chapman coming up for the Giants. <laughs> Giants got work to do here. Got work to do against the back end of this Padre bullpen. So hopefully after Jackson left with injury, hopefully Jackson is going to be okay. Hopefully he didn't re-aggravate that arm again. Hopefully not, so. A lot of up paying to do on this scorebook. A lot of it. Four run score. On four hits and an error. One on. So Jackson missed that line. Yeah, Jackson was terrible. <laughs> Jackson was terrible today. He didn't get a single out. Luke. Three runs go to his name. That's is frustrating for him. Walker didn't do a bad job at all. It was mostly Jackson's mess that he inherited. So Logan Webb's final stat line today on opening day was six innings pitched, five hits, two runs, both of them earned. He only walked one, and he struck out five. That was Logan Webb's opening day stat line. And his third consecutive opening day started for the Giants. We're back. Matsui, who came in Leading off for the Giants is Jorge Soler. To get the last two outs. And he's going to face Yuki Matsui again. So then Matsui's going to stay in here for a Jorge second Soler, inning of work. Who's for two he came in, he got a fly out for Leah, like a sack fly. And then Ahmed was doubled off on the bases. First pitch to Soler is on the outside corner on one. Solaire for two. He did walk though last inning. In the sixth, not last inning. In the sixth. Oh one pitches in the dirt ball one. And this is the eighth. On deck is Lamont Wade Jr. She knows not it's Wilmer Flores. They pinch hit Wade in the sixth. Each starter in this game. So Wilmer Flores on deck. Against the lefty Matsui. Will receive no decision. The 1-1-2 Solaire. 
Matsui kicks and kneels. Solaire ground ball to third. Tyler Wade across the diamond is going to get him. One out. That'll bring up Wilmer. Flores in his first at bat struck out swinging. So he's 0 for 1. He struck out against Tom Cosgrove in the sixth. Doing the get on base here. I want to play my home run video, so. Personally, I want a home run here. First pitch to Wilmer is up and away ball one. One now. Chapman on deck. It's going Yuki Matsui on the bump for San Diego. The 1 0. There's a perfect slider on the inside corner, 1 and 1. They're making for him to score, but I think San Diego's 9 hits. In the Giants' bullpen is Eric Miller. An opening day call up. 1 1. Flores on the ground to short. Hassan Kim takes his time, throws, and gets him. 2 down. Two straight ground outs. And here's Chapman. I'll bring up Matt Chapman. Let's see box score here. Yeah, I got that right. Didn't don't you don't have the error. The Giants. So once again, this Chapman. scoreboard is very it's Single new to me. First time ever using it like this, so bit delayed on updating everything. Hits and errors. First pitch of Chapman is a another beautiful slider. 0-1. Chapman today is 1 for 3, a single, a fly out, and a strikeout. The 0-1. Matsui throws, and that one is high. Fastball. 1-1. One one. The Dixon way. What's going on? Since I just liked and sub. Keep grinding from one content creator to another. Appreciate that a ton, the Dixon way. I have to check out your content too after this. So, thank you for your support, Dixon. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Chapman. And Chapman fouls one away. Wanted to read your last comment. Um, there was this crazy story I heard that a student amputated his legs by placing them in a box full of dry ice for $1.3 million in insurance money. What? He amputated his legs for a million dollars? Even I wouldn't do that. If you don't have legs, what are you going to do with the million dollars? If you don't have any legs. One, two is foul straight back. That was a hanging slider. But Chapman missed it. And my logic in that is what are you going to do without legs with a million dollars? Like, take your wheelchair to a park? I don't know what you're going to do. One, two, pitch to Chapman again. That's silly 16th. And Chapman takes a slider a little bit too outside. Two and two. That Matsui slider is very nice. It's a very good pitch for him. The student immersed his feet in a bucket of dry ice for over 10 hours in an attempt to inflict severe frostbite. To let to that sounds incredibly idiotic. Padre fans thought it was strike three, but wasn't even close. Three and two. That is incredibly stupid. That student. Because he wanted to go at it. He just holds up. Yeah, he didn't check his swing there. 3 2 to Chapman. Matsui. Throws. Chapman stays alive. Good fastball. Count still full. Foul straight back. On deck of a guest to him is Mike Yastrzemski. Although. Matsui is a lefty, so they could pinch hit Yas if it gets to him. 3-2 pitch to Chapman. Chapman got a piece of it. Stays alive. Still full. The pull is tied right now. First place or third wild card is where the pull is tied. Yeah, I bet there will be bruises on his legs. I would bet. Baseball tomorrow night. Harrison will get the start. That's gonna be very big start for Harrison. Second game of the season, he's starting it against Joe Musgrove, so. Looking forward to seeing Kyle Harrison tomorrow night. 
3-2 Chapman. It's a high pop-up. Foul territory. Tyler way in the shade. Has got it. 1-2-3-8 through Yuki Matsui. Giants down three. Going to the bottom. The eighth is Zokar. Camp Usano and Tyler Wade. Coming up. For the Padres. So, by the way, Giants fans, we'll be live as well tomorrow for tomorrow night's game. It's going to be Kyle Harrison and Joe Musker, like I just said. We'll be live for that game as well. It's going to be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. So, tune into that as well. Be live for that game. Hopefully, Giants can... Well, they haven't lost this game. I'm not going to say anything. I haven't said anything. His legs fell off after he immersed him in dry ice. Yeah. You couldn't even you couldn't even pay me a billion dollars to do that. You couldn't even pay me a billion to do that. I need my legs. I need them, no matter how much money I have. The legs are very important to me. So March Madness is back on today. I honestly forgot about that. March Madness is back. It starts in like a half an hour. No, I don't know why either. That was very dumb. No clue why. It's not a commercial break. We'll see what the Giants go to here. Actually, it's probably not going to be Walker. I doubt it. Doubt it would be Ryan Walker. Eric Miller was warming up, so. Let's see if it's Eric Miller. Somebody with no likes and still function. Yeah, but not great team. Eric Miller is the new pitcher. First pitch he throws to Jose Azokar is down low for ball one. It's so Miller got Padre. an opening day call up today. Had a good spring, got rewarded on the opening day roster. 1-0 pitch is a strike, 1-1 one one. One one to a Zokar. A student persuaded by his friends to get his legs for $1.3 million. Insurance scam, he only got 7,200. There's a ground ball of third, Matt Chapman. Across the diamond will tie her Zokar. One down, good play. 5-3 ground out. But you only got 7,200 when he found this 1.3 million. <laughs> he got scammed and he doesn't have legs anymore. That guy's living a terrible life. <laughs> terrible life for that guy. So one down here is Luis Confusano. He let off last inning and reached on a throwing error. Actually, no, he reached on a single and then he moved up to third on a throwing error by... Patrick Bailey. First pitch to Campisano is high for ball one. Looks like you and me up there working out. Yeah, I'm on the left. 1 0 is down low, 2 0. I don't know why that jerk was thinking. No. That's just mean. Well, they, if they were friends, then that's just a terrible friend. On the outside corner, 2 and 1 to Campisano. Two one pitch here was to Capisano, who's two for three today. That one's outside three one. Capisano, like I said, two for three. He's got two, two singles, a single to right and a single to left. So he's pulled the ball, and he's still one the other way. Three one. Capisano grounds this one to third. More work for Matt Chapman across the diamonds. Two outs, two grounders to Matt Chapman. Two down here in the bottom of the eighth. Louis Here's Tyler so. Wade coming up. He's built like Bump. He's built like Mass Bumper, absolutely. Who also was 6'5, 250. Yeah, he does kind of look like Bump. Goes like him, too. What's going on, Robert Rothberg? Hello, that's a giant. Well, the Giants are going to prove all the analysts wrong. This is the year the Giants dominate. I hope you're right about that, Rothberg. What's going on, Rothberg? Thank you for Sorry, stopping by today. So, pinch hitter for the Padres is Egoy Rosario pinch hitting for Tyler Wade. First pitch he sees is swung on and missed. 
Hawks 0 and 1. So way to lefty. Padres use the natural advantage. Ready and Rosario pinching for the lefty Tyler Wade. 0 1 pitch. Rosario swings and misses 0 and 2. Anytime you're dealing with young pitchers. Miller looking for his first strike. And this is parents. The Miller family. That dad looks scary. That guy looks like a beast. That dad. He looks like a... He looks like a monster. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss strike. Three. First strikeout. For Eric Miller and his parents are super proud. That's his kid. After 8, 6-3 Padres. Giants have three outs to go. They have Yaz, Estrada, Conforto. Coming up. Those are some proud parents. Very nice inning for Eric Miller. One, two, three, forced two ground outs and got a strikeout. Welcome to the majors. Yep, Giants have had four pitchers today. They've had Webb, Jackson, who left with an injury, Ryan Walker, and Eric Miller. Rothbrooks says, overall, I'm impressed with the Giants or with our starting pitchers. We won't go into a prolonged losing streak. I, I hope not. I mean, as I was watching the video. When this rotation is healthy, it is absurd. I mean, one healthy. Logan Webb as your number one. Blake Snell as your, I mean, you, you can be, Webb and Snell are interchangeable. Logan Webb, Blake Snell, Kyle Harrison, Robbie Ray, and Keen One, who's not that bad. That's a very good rotation. Especially with the fact that Robbie Ray won a Cy Young two years ago, Snow won it last year, and Webb came in second. That's the Cy Young last year, the second place Cy Young last year, the Cy Young two years ago in Robbie Ray, one of the top prospects in baseball, Kyle Harrison, and a, and a nasty arm in Keen One. That's a very, very, very nice rotation. And Cobb, yeah. I did leave out Cobb. So put Cobb in for when Cobb was an all-star last year. That is one healthy. That is a dirty rotation. Dirty rotation right there. Even with even without Cobb, it's a dirty rotation. But with Cobb, it's even better. So I have high hopes for this team when healthy. Very high hopes. Top nine, Giants got to score three runs to keep this game alive. At the very least. So, for the first time this season, Padres' closer, Robert Suarez, will come in. That, that is a beast, I'm telling you. First pitch, Robert Suarez in the game with throw to Mike Estremski is a flare. That's going to be on the infield dirt. Picking it up is the shortstop, Kim. And one pitch, Mike Estremski is retired. He's over four. One down. So here comes Tyro Estrada. The positives from today? Mm. I'd probably say Nick Gauman might be looking forward with the positives. First pitch for Estrada's at the knees, called a strike going one. I mean, Nick Gauman had two RBIs today, and Conforto had two nice hits. Two bullets as well for Conforto. So I say my two positives today were Nick Gauman and Conforto. Also Eric Miller for a very nice MLB debut. 0-1 pitch to Estrada's in the dirt for ball one. Your comment, Eric Miller's dad is so strong they can deck someone so bad they'll be paralyzed. Yeah, he looks like he looks like he can do that. Yeah, Webb had a quality start, but then he kind of he walked a guy and then he kind of fell apart. Logan Webb after he walked a guy. One one pitch to Estrada's fouled away. One and two. So he was good though, Logan Webb for the first five innings. He was dominant. He's also got a circle change and a slider. It'll be a one-two pitch here to Tyro. Robert Suarez on his fifth pitch. I think he has first save of the year. Estrada strikes out swing. Giants have one out to go. Two down. Giants last hope is Michael Conforto.
In Florida, like I said, two for three, a double, a single, and he scored two runs. He's having a very nice day. First pitch, Conforto takes a strike at the knees, 0-1. Once again, Giants fans, we'll be live tomorrow night as well for Giants versus Padres. Kyle Harrison versus Joe Musgrove is the pitching matchup tomorrow night. 0-1 pitch, Conforto, it's a high fly ball, right field, Tatis looking up, and Michael Conforto taps off a big day with a solo home on the right field. The first home run of the year for the Giants is 6-4. <laughs> Alive, his third hit. Here's Patrick Bailey. That's a hundred mile per hour fast going there on one. So I mean, if Conforto does get another at bat, if he gets a triple, he has a cycle. But he's got to get another at bat first. Oh, one pitch to Bailey. Bailey on the ground to second. That's gonna be your ball game. Xander Bogarts retires him, and the ball game is over. So. Giants, for the second straight year, are going to lose on opening day. This time to the Padres. At least they scored this year on opening day. Padres win 6-4 on opening day. Giants will be back tomorrow as we take on the Padres again. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Kyle Harrison versus Joe Musgrove. Giants four runs on nine hits and one error. Padres six runs on nine hits and no errors. So that's how the season gets started. The Giants really used the bullpen. The bullpen struggled. Luke Jackson came in. He didn't get a single out. He left with an injury. Then Ryan Walker, he came into a mess. He did his best to get out of it. Of course, he didn't really do so. So, tough game for the Giants. The bullpen is what really lost in the game. But, yeah. Giants have tomorrow to bounce back with Kyle Harrison on the bump. Their highly touted rookie. Or not rookie. Well, he is still considered a rookie. But Kyle Harrison pitching tomorrow against Joe Musgrove, making his second start of the year. Padres move to two and one, Giants to zero oh and one, this year. So yeah, that was the first game of the year. Quite a fun game. Got to play my home run video. <laughs> so that's a good thing. At least it was a home run. Conforto, thank you. I wanted to play that video so bad, Conforto. So we'll stay on here for about another two minutes, while I finish up my scorebook here. Stay on for a bit. So a very successful stream as well. We got like 800 views, 30 likes. Very nice stream. We gained like 9 subscribers. So now we're just 9 subscribers away from 1,000. We can maybe get to 1,000 subscribers tomorrow night. We can maybe do that. If we can do that, that would be great. So, finish on my scorebook here, then I'm going to head out probably. So, Giants had four runs, nine hits, one error, left four on base. Padres had six runs, nine hits, no errors, and five men left on base. Hugh Darvish in his opening day star went five innings, gave up five hits, one run, it was earned. A walk, seven Ks. And Logan Webb gave up, went six innings, gave up five hits, two runs, two earned, a walk, and... He had five Ks. So once again, Kyle Harris on the bump tomorrow night for the Giants against Joe Musgrove. Should be a fun matchup. Hopefully the Giants can bounce back tomorrow. Hopefully a bounce back is incoming. So that's four that's two hours and thirty-six minutes is your time of game. Time of game, 2 hours and 36 minutes. The attendance today at Petco Park was 44,953, which is more than a sellout because the capacity at Petco Park is 42,000. They had almost 45,000 at the game. So, more than a sellout today at Petco. So, the win today went to, let's see, 
The ones I went to Yuki Matsui, his first win as a major league pitcher. Just get that in there. Yuki Matsui, and the loss went to Luke Jackson, who has an infinite ERA, an ERA of infinity. And Robert Suarez got to save his first, his second, actually, beg your pardon, of the year. You got one against the Dodgers. Suarez got a save against the Dodgers, I guess. So, yeah, that's your ball game. I am going to head out. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Giants vs. Padres game number two of the series. Once again, Harrison versus Joe Musgrove tomorrow night. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, Giants fall 6-4. See you guys tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.